welcome back to my channel. So today we have an interesting video all about a perfume that is sold in Lidl, which is a supermarket um, that is all over the world, I think mainly in Europe, and they are a budget supermarket and they do a lot of items that look very similar to big brand name items and they have a perfume which is very similar to Coco Mademoiselle. Now Coco Mademoiselle of course is a best-selling perfume worldwide, it's over £100 for a full size and so they have taken that on. So I'm going to give you my impressions of it, I have it here and what I think, do I think it is actually like Coco Mademoiselle and let you know what I think basically. <laughs> um, but if you're new here then hello, welcome, we are all about perfumes here. I have hundreds of other perfume videos so do check them out if you're a perfume fan like me and if you're a regular who hasn't subscribed yet then why not? To hit that subscribe button, join our community and show your support. So I picked up uh, the perfume. So the name of the perfume is Suddenly Madame Glamour. And you can see from the box that they have gone for a similar uh, branding to the box of Coco Mademoiselle, which is white and gold. Obviously this looks totally different, but it's a nod towards it. Similar without being, you know, a copy paste. Uh, which would I think be illegal and this was a fifth this is 50 mil and this cost three pounds 99. The 50 mil of Coco Mambazelle Eau de Parfum would be maybe about 60 pounds this is 3.99 so we are talking seriously seriously cheap. I didn't know what to think of it whether it was going to be absolutely horrible. I have to say my impressions of it as someone who's very familiar with Coco Mademoiselle, I used to wear it for many years, this is very similar to Coco Mademoiselle, okay? The smell smells like Coco Mademoiselle, like if you smelt this on someone you would assume they were wearing Coco Mademoiselle. It isn't identical, I think there is less patchouli in here, I think there's a bit more orange and overall I find it a bit lighter, um, maybe not as much jasmine, but the smell, the signature smell of Coco Mademoiselle, it has a very sort of particular smell, it does smell like that, it, it is a dupe in my opinion, it does smell the same. You could definitely wear this and people would believe you if you said it was Coco Mademoiselle. Maybe you could even swap it for someone's Coco Mademoiselle without them knowing and I don't know if they'd notice. For lasting power, I actually have found this not that different to Coco Mademoiselle. So you can smell it on you and of course at that price you can go mad, spray loads on. I found I could smell it on me, it wasn't rubbish, it didn't disappear straight away, it wasn't, you know, it had projection, it had lasting power. So I think what this really shows us is that, you know, perfumes are just liquid in a bottle at the end of the day. You know, it doesn't cost anywhere near £100 to make a Eau de Parfum Coco Mademoiselle. Um, what you're paying for with, with these high-end designer perfumes is the marketing, the branding, you know, think of how many Chanel adverts we see everywhere, like they recover that cost back from the consumer, whereas there's no advertising for this in Lidl, it's literally just they put the perfume put bottle and sell it and they're probably making, I don't know, a pound or something on each one, whereas Chanel are probably making, you know, 50% or something on each one or maybe less than that. But I think what is interesting though is I wouldn't choose this over Coco Mademoiselle because the bottle is ugly. I hate the bottle. I think it looks tacky and old fashioned. It has this horrible plastic lid, which is like something from a a body product, I hate it, it's not appropriate for a perfume, this lid. I, I, I just hate everything about the bottle, I think it's lame. I won't, wouldn't want this on my dressing table, I wouldn't want to get up, get ready each day and look at this. I think I would also feel a little bit kind of fraudulent, right? If people asked you what you were wearing, I don't think I'd want to say oh, I'm wearing this this little perfume that's a copy of Coco Mademoiselle. I don't know why, but it makes me feel a bit uncomfortable because of this copying. And I guess it's something in like our culture, like fakes, fake handbags, things like that, make me personally feel like I'm kidding people and it's 
I, I don't like it but but what I do think is if you cannot afford Coco Mademoiselle and let's face it COVID life most people do not want to spend £100 on a perfume but you love the smell then I think this is a way to get it um, obviously for a very affordable price so I think in that respect it's good because it makes the smell accessible and you know obviously it'd be up to you whether if people ask you you'd tell them what it was or say it was Coco Mademoiselle but I think in that respect it's give you know opening up to pretty much anyone which is great and I think it sends you know an interesting message that you are paying for the marketing you're not paying for the perfume because this is performing pretty much just like the original Chanel one but there's something about it that makes me feel uneasy I think if the bottle was nice I'd feel a bit better about it I wish they'd gone for a nicer bottle but yeah guys let me know what do you think about this idea of you know something that's obviously a copy like it's not a coincidence it's it's meant to be a copy um let me know do you would you buy this what do you think have you tried it has anyone been to Lidl tried it if you are a shopper at Lidl why not pick it up and try it yourself because it it is interesting how similar it is to Coco Mademoiselle so yeah let me know what your thoughts are down below but an interesting one here interesting perfume so that's it guys so thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video bye